Welcome to the NFPA Standard Snapshot on NFPA 1851, which is the standard on selection, care, and maintenance of protective ensembles for structural firefighting and proximity firefighting. Why NFPA 1851? Several NFPA st product standards have an accompanying selection, care, and maintenance document for the end user, while the product documents cover the design, uh, testing, manufacturing, and labeling and certification of PPE, NFPA 1851 was designed to specify the minimum requirements and establish a program for the selection, care, and maintenance of firefighting protective ensembles, as well as for each of the individual ensemble elements, both for structural and proximity firefighting. NFPA 1851 highlights include in general that the organization or department shall develop and implement a program for the selection, care, and maintenance of structural and proximity firefighter ensembles. Prior to making this a selection and purchase of a protective ensemble for proximity or structural firefighting, the department has to conduct a risk assessment to determine what is necessary and appropriate. NFPA 1851 in essence covers a number of issues including the inspection, cleaning, and deco decontamination, and repair of personal protective equipment. In terms of inspection, the department should clean or decontaminate ensembles before an inspection. Any ensembles that are contaminated by CBRN agents must be retired. If members, members must conduct routine inspections after each use, and any advanced inspections or testing must be done by a verified independent service provider, also known as the ISP. In terms of cleaning and decontamination, the department must identify a process for cleaning and decontaminating these ensemble elements, and ultimately, the end user is responsible for routine cleaning and must always reference the manufacturer for cleaning and drying instructions. Also, the requirements for all ensembles and ensemble elements as addressed by NFPA 1851, all repairs must be performed by the original manufacturer an ISP, or maybe even a member of the department that has received training from the manufacturer or the ISP. All ensembles need to be kept out of direct sunlight or in extreme temperatures and ensure that they are clean and dry before storing. The department also must develop an ensemble replacement program to retire ensembles and ensemble elements from service. If you'd like to find out more about NFPA 1851, you can visit the document information page at nfpa.org 1851, where you'll be able to read the standard in its entirety. You can also visit the NVFC website to access helpful resources and to download the guide, Understanding and Implementing Standards.